This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. The author of this page added a lot of content, but did not think about structure. All of this text is mastered. Ooh, yeah, it is. Do this. Look through the content with your partner. Hi, person on the other end of the computer. We're partners. You're welcome. And decide what you think the best structure should be. Use your heading and paragraph tags to code the structure. All right. So headings, guys, remember? Ooh, do they have them? What is an HTML element? Ooh, it's all handy. Headings. Headings make up different sizes. Up oh, here's our paragraph tag, handy dandy. Less than, greater than sign. Those are next to the letter M on your keyboard. And then the ending tag has to have a slash. So this tells the computer, hey, I'm starting a paragraph. This slash thingy says, hey, this is where my paragraph tag is actually ending. All right, so let's get going here. Um, it looks like with this being at the top, and it's probably the main title of a page, right? And if it's the main thing, we would want to go with the biggest heading size. Now, let's see. Did they have that in here? Oh, we could always go to tips. Here we are. Different size headings. The biggest one is H1. So make sure you use these resources. H1 is the largest. So if we think this is the title of the page, well, I bet the title should be the largest. So I'm going to do an H1 and then a slash H1. Boom. Ta-da. And now we have that. And it's going to automatically separate this other stuff. We can sign to see some of the structure in this from whoever made this, right? It looks like maybe these would be subheadings then. So I'm going to assume that this would be maybe a paragraph. And for that, then I'll just go. Droop. And we can even, by the way, we can separate this out more. I can put paragraphs tags right here. But if you want, or if you're more comfortable, you could put them above it as well. We just need to make sure they wrap around it, right? So this is the end of the paragraph. And I'm going to do a slash P. Again, this is these symbols are on a normal keyboard next to the M key. So a shift and then the letter next to the M and then the letter next to that or the key next to that. And then this forward slash is next to the shift key uh, over near the letter L as well. All right. And that's the close. OK, so we got a paragraph. I think this is a subheading. I think this is maybe the dog's name for a subheading. Then I'll do an H2. This is somewhat up to you. How big do you think a subheading should be? Um, and maybe you vehemently disagree and think this is the title of the page. I don't think that's right. But since this is an H1, I'm going to go ahead and make that an H2. Now, dog. OK, so I'm thinking then for dog, I can go ahead and I bet that's a sub subheading, right? So I'm going to do an slash H3 for dog because I think that's like a heading under this Oh, and another paragraph. So I'm going to show you that this will do the exact same thing, by the way. So I'm going to wrap my paragraph in a paragraph tag. And I have an empty line here. And if I want, boom, 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 this is going to be treated the same. These spaces around this won't actually matter. The computer's just looking for an opening and a close to a paragraph tag. Code wise, that would have been the same. I'll get it back to how they had it. But just so you know. All right. Slowpoke, I think, again, is a subheading H2 and then slash H2. Oh, it's a turtle with the name Slowpoke. Adorable. My students don't make fun of me for saying that. Thank you. Uh, H3 for that, right? So subheading, right? Tur animal's name, animal's type. And then that's a paragraph about your friend and mine. Slow poke. Boom. Boom. And notice how it separates it out. All right. And then we have a hamster. But what's the hamster's name? Well, let's get an H2 around that. Wait a minute. Whoa. The, the hamster's name is... The fish, it's a ham, it's a fish that's named hamster. Code.org, why are you doing this to us? Okay, a fish that is named hamster. H3 for a subheading, since that's the animal type, and that's what I've been doing. Again, maybe you think this should be an H3, and these sub subheadings should be an H4. Up to you, what do you think looks best? But it would be logical to have the largest thing at the top, the title, and then some structure of subheadings. Beautiful. Onward.